Best friend, what in the beanity bobbity boo Mary Poppins, Jennifer Garner, 13 going on 30. Come on, La Fleur, if you had my love waiting for tonight is going on here. Listen, best friend, I don't know what the hell happened here. I don't know what in the Spice Girls spice up your life. If you want to be my lover, Mama June, TLC, Gypsy Rose, fucking Hillary Dove. This is what dreams are made of. I don't know what in the Xenon girl of the 21st century. Boom, zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom. <gasps> my supernova girl is going on here because Jennifer Lopez is now allegedly teaming up with Jennifer Gardner. Best friend, what in the spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down is going on here. So now they're being, okay, so listen, before I get into the mess, welcome back to my channel. I don't even know if I did the welcome, bitch. I just jumped into it, girl. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sebastian, and I spill pop culture tea every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. We are currently on our way to 75K. So if you wanted to join the family, I would be so incredibly thankful and grateful. So grab a snack and a drink. Put that pillow over your tummy. And let's talk, best friend, because uh, the, the Jennifers are together, honey. The Jennifers are saying, girl, power, bitch, okay? Hey, girl, listen, I'm low-key here for the drama, bitch. Okay? Not low-key, girl. I am high-key, honey. I'm all the damn keys. Okay, so it says here that allegedly Jennifer Gardner has been helpful to J-Lo. <gasps> It said, okay, so listen, it says here that they have been unexpectedly sticking together and that they are allies because allegedly Jennifer Garner was burned by Ben Affleck in the beginning. So she knows exactly what's going on because she knows all the damn behind the scenes. So she is allegedly sticking up with uh, Jennifer Lopez and they're both trying to make Ben Affleck come to his damn senses. But the man can't put down the fucking Dunkin' Donuts because, you know, he's obsessed with Dunkin' Donuts, bitch. So, you know, they're just like, girl, what the hell is going on here? Now, listen, reports were saying that, you know, Jennifer Garner was allegedly helping Ben Affleck during all of this, that he was spending a lot of time in their home and that allegedly best friend come here bitch come here i'm not gonna fucking bite you okay i'm girl i don't bite without consent bitch okay now i might whisper a little bit bitch you know because i want to get the you know the flavors flavoring bitch okay but listen allegedly jennifer garner's boyfriend he was not having it, girl. And allegedly, best friend, you didn't hear it from me, but allegedly her boyfriend said, Jennifer Garner, you better stop with the ex-boyfriend because it's causing issues with us. <gasps> so Jennifer Lopez's divorce with Ben Affleck, alleged divorce, is now allegedly, girl, take a shot every time I fucking say allegedly, is now allegedly affecting Jennifer Garner and her boyfriend's relationship. This is why I tell you, girl, listen, Jennifer Gardner might may be, you know, sharing kids with, with Ben Affleck, but best friend, you're not going to risk your fucking relationship because if Ben Affleck can't get his shit together, bitch, that, it's called therapy, okay? <laughs> it's called therapy. And you know they got the coin to go to a really good therapist, okay, bitch? They got the coin to go to a good therapist, okay, bitch? So listen, I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, girl, like, you know, Jennifer Gardner is Mary Poppins in her way into another fucking breakup if she continues to have Ben Affleck in her kitchen while she's making a fucking cake telling him that everything is going to be fucking okay. Absolutely not, girl. Ben Affleck, you are adult enough. Put that damn glazed donut down. Put that damn, you know, coffee, whatever you order from Dunkin' Donuts down. Get some therapy and work on it. But okay, let's go back to the Jennifers sticking together. So listen... We still don't know anything, girl. We don't know if they're getting a divorce. We don't know if they're, you know, if they're, if, what's going on, bitch? The ring is on one minute. The ring is off one minute. The ring is off one minute. The ring is on one minute. It's giving Jojo Siwa. It's giving Jojo Siwa trying to stick to, you know, a personality, bitch. Because, you know, I mean, I don't know what I, that I really don't know. Because karma's a bitch. I don't know what the hell that is, girl. Let, let me just put that aside, girl. You know, it haunts me, bitch. Ha, Jojo Siwa is up there with uh, Mama June and Honey Boo Boo in my eyes, girl. Just a damn mess, okay? Anyways, girl. So, you know. Now, allegedly, Gardner, you know, knows exactly what Lopez is going through and she is sticking with her. Now, in the beginning of all of this, there were some rumors that Gardner really wanted this to work, that she really wanted to support Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. And she really, really wanted them to make it work for the sake of their children as well, because you guys know that obviously Gardner and Ben share, I think it's three children. 
And now with this divorce looming its head around, right? Jennifer Garner is like, damn, other, other, you know, another break, you know, uh, what's it called? Heartbreak for the children, right? So she wanted it to, to she wanted the divorce or the breakup or whatever you want to call it. She wanted it to be as peaceful as possible. But Jennifer Lopez, I don't know if she wants that because the rumors were in back in June, best friend. Girl, this chair, I can't even move two damn fucking milligrams because this chair wants to make so much damn fucking noise and fat shame me. This is Bertha the fat shaming chair, bitch, okay? Bertha the fat shaming chair does not shut the fuck up, okay? <sighs> you know what, girl? You know what, girl? I will not be brought down by Bertha the damn chair, bitch, okay? Because I have dignity. I have dignity, bitch, okay? Listen, um... The reports were that Lopez did not want Gardner to get involved in the in their relationship. And now what? G Lopez and Gardner are fucking together, you know, in this mess? Ay, Dio mio, listen. I don't know. They should just pick up some cameras and put on a fucking TLC uh, reality show. Because it is just way too messy, girl. It is way too messy. I just feel like, you know, if, you know, if they cannot work on it together, right? They should go to a, I, in my opinion, right? They got the money and they got the time because she canceled her tour. So she ain't got nothing to do. And, you know, he's not really Batman anymore. So it's like, whatever, right? I just feel like they should really try and like end this nicely. You know what I mean? And not involve Gardner. And Gardner should not get involved in a situation that really has nothing to do with her because then she's going to lose out on her relationship. And then it's just going to be a continuous mess. Ben Affleck trying to ruin Jennifer Gardner's relationship. That's right. Okay. I don't make the rules, bitch. Okay. <sighs> That's what I got to say about that, bitch. I mean, I just can't. Listen, if you took a shot every time I said the word allegedly in this video, girl, do not drive, bitch. And do not call your damn ex-boyfriend, okay, ho? Because, girl, it's just not necessary. Anyways, best friend, um, I need to insert a video here. Do you guys remember when I told you about that guy when I went hiking last week who hit on me. Well, I bumped into him this morning, bitch, and I filmed my reaction. So here's the video uh, of that of that clip, okay? I'm gonna insert it here. Uh, future editing Sebastian, please insert the damn clip here, okay? Anyways, girl, um, listen, and uh, before I let you go, honey, I get asked a lot if I, what do I do to get this energy, um, you know, in my videos. Let me tell you something, okay, girl. I don't, I don't, I don't do any uh, 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 substances, if you will, right? I don't do that, right? I genuinely love to spill tea. I get excited. My messy side gets out. You know what I mean? So I just love it. I don't, the only thing I do to prepare is I drink water. I swear. I don't even, listen, I don't even drink Coke. You know what I mean? I don't do that. It's just the energy that comes from it, bitch, okay? You know what? For so many years, pretending to not be me, I'm finally me. So that's why I am all over the place and I have the energy because for so many years I had to pretend to be someone I was not. You know what I mean? Anyways, girl, let me let you go. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Here is the clip. Make sure to subscribe, but most importantly, make sure to have a fabulous day. And JLo, girl, get it together. All right, bye, best friend. Best friend. So mortifying. I ran into hiking guy. AKA the guy who hit on me and I thought he was trying to steal from me. Oh my God, best friend. It was so mortifying. Let me catch my breath because I'm hyperventilating. I just climbed the fucking mountain. Who the fuck do I think I am, Dora the Explorer? All right, give me a second and I'll tell you everything. Okay, bitch, I'm on top now. Oh, I had to calm down a bit because girl, I needed my inhaler, bitch. I was like hyperventilating up in this bitch. Anyways, I got to zen, zen, zen myself, bitch, zen. Okay, so I'm stretching stretching right before coming to this freaking hike and usually i stretch a little longer because i like to take instagram videos of my legs stretching so everybody on instagram knows that i came hiking i need the validation bitch anyways so i'm hiking and then i feel a little tap on the shoulder and he's like hey buddy and i turn around i was like oh hi and then you know it's him and the first thought i was like oh my god he saw the damn video he saw the damn video like this is gonna be so awkward he's gonna push me off a ledge what's gonna happen and he was like, how are you? And I said, I'm good. How are you? And then, you know, it was like kind of awkward. And then, um, you know, he was like, 
hey, so uh, which route are you taking today? And I was like, oh, you know, I'm just, and I didn't want to tell him because I didn't want to go with him. So I was like, oh, I'm not sure yet. I just got to stretch and wait for a friend's phone call. And then he was like, oh, okay, I'm going to take that route. And I was like, okay. And then he goes, so um, still, still married? And I said, yeah, still married. And he goes, can I be honest with you? And I said, sure. And he goes, I don't normally ever go up to anybody and ask them out. It was very nerve wracking for me. And I thought that was so refreshing. Bitch, is that a wolf? What the fuck is that? I wolf, I don't have the energy to run from you. Please, please don't be a roo, a wolf, a, a, what is, a wolf, a roof wolf. Oh, anyways, girl. So, you know, he's there and he's telling me that he never goes up to anybody. And I felt the word vomit come out, bitch. I just fucking knew it. I'm oversharing. I said, time to overshare. And I said, well, if I'm going to be very honest with you, I thought you were going to rob me. Oh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go look in my other video, hiking drama. A guy asked me out on the hiking trails. And because of my low ass self-esteem, I thought he was trying to rob me. So go watch that video. That's what I, that's, this is the update. So anyways, so, so I'm over here. And I'm just like, you know, uh, ready to overshare. And I was going to overshare. Here's some eye candy for you guys, bitch. There you go. I just, you know, I, I know I know my people. Anyways, so I feel like I'm oversharing. I said, well, if I'm going to be very honest with you, I thought you were going to rob me. Or you were going to ask for a donation. Or, you know, you were going to steal my phone or what. And he's like, what? And I said, yes. And he goes, and I said, well, you know, I have very, I guess, low self-esteem. And I realize that with you. And he goes, well, that's so sad because you're very beautiful. And I said, well, thank you. But, you know, I, I just, I, I don't see it that way, right? And then, bitch, he starts psychoanalyzing me. Girl, I felt like I was in an episode of Dr. Phil. I was about to say, cash me outside. How about that? And then he was just like, you know, I wonder where uh, the the uh, low self-esteem comes from. Where you uh, grew up in a two-parent household, do you think that, and then he made a big-ass word, catapalaster or some bullshit like that, to this person of insecurity as you are? And I said, bitch, I don't know. And he goes, oh, were you, were you loved and were, did you have a lot of friends? And I said, what? And he is being dead-ass serious. And I said, I had a lovely childhood. No, no. And then he was like, well, you know, um, I actually, when, when, when I left you, I thought you were very standoffish. Little did I know you just were very insecure. And then he goes, well, listen, um, are you and your husband, you know, open for a third? Girl, what? Bitch, it is hard enough with my husband, girl. I cannot perform twice, okay, bitch? Like, girl, <laughs> gotta let the booty breathe, bitch. Anyways, so I said, no, we're not. Thank you so much, though. And he goes, well, listen, um, why don't we, you know, go hiking together? Like, we can become friends. And I said, yeah, you know, if we see each other, we can hike. And I'm over here like, girl, you just fucking psychoanalyze me. And first of all, we cannot be friends because A, I am married. B, you say you have a crush on me. And that's just inappropriate. So anyways, girl, he went on his way. I waited and I went on my way and I'm trying not to bump into him. Um, but, you know, I just think it's so crazy how like a complete stranger can like psychoanalyze you and like ask you if you were like brought up in a two parent household. I was like, girl, what? I wasn't. So maybe the bitch is right. Maybe he's a, th a therapist or something. Oh, by the way, <laughs> his name is Jake. <laughs> anyways, girl. Um, what do you guys think? Let a bitch know in the comments below. Only these adventures, honestly. I just always, I'm so many adventures, bitch. Like, I, I need, I need Chris Jenner to come in and, like, you know, adopt me into reality TV, bitch, because this is way too fucking much. Anyways, girl, I gotta go before a wolf fucking comes and eats me, bitch. Unless it's Jacob, because then I would be like, ah, ooh, bitch, okay. Anyways, girl, I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.